Hi everyone, it's Burak. After a lot of research and soul searching, I finally chose my new 14 inch MacBook Pro and today it's in my hands. So let's unbox it together and see what all the fuss is about. Listen to this peel, never gets old. Lifting the lid, the first thing we meet is the laptop itself. And the build quality screams premium. Just look at that sleek metal finish. The design is so beautiful and the weight so reassuring that I almost want to hug this machine and fall asleep with it. Check out the ventilation cutouts. Even on my knees the vents stay clear, giving better airflow, more performance and less fan noise. Back to the box. There's a 2 meter braided USB-C cable for fast charging. And a 96 watt USB-C adapter. And that's it, Apple keeps it minimal. Quick spec recap, this is the 14 core CPU, 20 core GPU M4 Pro with 48 gigabytes of unified memory and a 2 terabyte SSD. Plenty of power for coding, video editing and anything I can throw at it. The best part, no power button needed, raise the lid and it springs to life and macOS greets us in multiple languages. Let's give it a slow 360 degree spin. Trackpad is enormous and silky. The keys feel so good they practically beg you to start typing. Truly a creativity magnet. But beware, the machine looks so gorgeous it can distract you from actual work. check. On the right we have HDMI, one Thunderbolt and an SD card slot. On the left MagSafe, two more Thunderbolt ports and a headphone mic jack, everything I need built in. Up top, the power button doubles as Touch ID for one-tap secure logins. Setup is straightforward, and I redeemed Final Cut Pro plus the Logitech Pro bundle at a discount tied to my Apple ID. One more look at this beauty. 
So why did I pick this exact spec? I went for the M4 Pro over the Max because it stays cooler and costs less, yet still crushes my old Intel Mac Plus eGPU. The 14 inch size slips easily into my backpack for uni. I compared Windows rivals like the Asus ProArt and Razer Blade, but none match the battery life, XDR display, and whisper quiet fans of this Mac. Lit up again, and macOS Sequoia is ready in about 15 seconds. The fans are silent, and the 1600 NIT HDR screen looks stunning for both coding and Netflix. The grand total was $5,078.99 on net 30 terms. And after all that research, I'm genuinely happy with the balance of power and portability and have already recommended the same spec to friends and clients. Thanks. Good day.